Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a little bit of happy mail, a little bit of chit chat, catch up with you guys. Hope all of you are doing really well today. I am doing pretty well. Yeah. Um, been busy as all get out. Um, my kitchen adventures have been continuing full throttle. Um, you know, I've been reading a lot. I've been working on my French even still. Um, my streak on Duolingo, I'm at like 120 days, I'm very pleased to say. Yeah, yes. Um, I, I've been working at it, uh, you know, uh, mostly mostly French right now, but you know, and I'm, I'm in the Diamond League semifinals. Um, for those of you that don't know anything about Duolingo, it's an app where you can learn languages, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, yeah, just generally, you know, busy, 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 you know, sleep is for mortals. <laughs> um, uh, so, you know, as far as like my, my kitchen adventures, little Edgar Allan Doe, my sourdough starter, he is about a month old now. Um, and I'm so delighted. I've been making bread. I've been making crackers. I've been making pizza and pasta. I even made sourdough sugar cookies the other day. Oh God, they were so good. And you didn't even taste any sourdough in them, but I have been doing so much with the sourdough. Eating probably some sourdough-ish related thing just about every day. Yes. Um, and on top of that, I'm working on global domination. Yes, slowly but surely, because I've given a little bit of my sourdough starter uh, to a coworker, and um, I recommended the name. Well, she's an artist, so I recommended uh, sort of a, again a play on words. Um, and since she's an artist, I was thinking about the the Guggenheim Museum, and the person responsible for the museum was. Solomon Guggenheim. So I thought, how about Solomon Glutenheim? Yes, I am very cheesy. Um, and uh, she also came up with one on her own, uh, which is Frida Caldo. Yeah. Um, and then when my mom's friends wanted some starter, and I couldn't think of a name, you know, off the top of my head. So I figured until she came up with a name for her starter, uh, that I would just call him John Doe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, I figure slowly but surely, little Edgar is going to be in all different households and he's going to take over. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I've just been having so much fun with the sourdough. And I have thought about perhaps doing a video or two um, as far as things to do with sourdough. Oh, and I've also been making flatbreads as well, which is probably the easiest thing you could possibly make with sourdough starter. Um, but, you know, that is an idea that I have been toying with. If any of you are interested, let me know in the comments section down below. Um, as far as reading, well, I still haven't finished reading Sweeney Todd and the String of Pearls. Um... I went on to rereading for the umpteenth millionth time uh, the world of Henry Orient. Um, don't ask me why I gravitate to that book. I've read it at least half a dozen times. Um, also a really good movie with Peter Sellers, Paul Apprentice, and Angela Lansbury. Um, and I just started actually reading Jane Eyre. I think I might have tried to read it once many moons ago, but I thought, Maybe. Uh, actually, I was inspired by the idea of um, trying to get my mom to read some of the classics. Um, she does read a lot. And I thought, well, Jane Eyre, it's a very famous, well-known piece of literature with a female protagonist going through life and love and hardship and all that good stuff. And so I recommended it to her and I thought, well, you know what? Maybe I'll read it myself. So I'm on chapter four. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, busy, busy, busy as per usual. 
Also, I have an update also uh, from a package that I had gotten from my good friend Russ over at It's Raining Yarn, and I want to show you some progress that I've been making. I just got all sorts of good stuff going on. So, without further ado, I want to show you something cool. All right, so not that long ago, I had gotten an incredible birthday present from Russ, and he sent me a ton, like over a hundred mini skeins of a merino and nylon blend of hand-dyed yarny goodness, and oh my goodness, um, it took me a long time to unwrap all of those little skeins and then figure out what the heck I was going to do with all of them. And I decided to go with simplicity. You know, sometimes simplicity is not a bad idea. And actually, I went with almost with Russ's idea of doing a blanket. Uh, now, Russ, he was working on, if I'm not mistaken, a, a square granny blanket. I decided on a rectangular format, and this is how much I have gotten done. Now, keep in mind, the weight of yarn is like, I want to say, mm, maybe a two. It is thin, 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 thin. So let me just get myself situated here. It is gorgeous. It is so soft. Oh, And so this is what I have currently worked up. I love it. Absolutely. It is funky. It is wild. It is crazy. And it is colorful. And it is so, so soft. Now, I'm thinking that on the off chance that I don't have enough to make a substantial size blanket, I might order some, you know, uh, on my own. I still have quite a bit. Now... Because I wanted to circumvent having to sew in a million and one ends, I decided to do the tying magic knot method where you have your one length of yarn and your other length of yarn. And essentially, you have a, a knot, an open knot on this yarn uh, and an open knot on this yarn, and you feed the tails through and so forth. And you know, time that way. I've done a video on, on it, you know, a long while ago, but that's the option that I opted for uh, so that I didn't have to t sew in a gajillion ends. Now, the ball that I am currently working on, I have <laughs> this much left uh, that I had tied and wound and balled all together, and then I still have this one as well. So I've got all of this yarny goodness to work with. And when I run out, I might, you know, I, it is quite possible that I will order some of it myself because I want it to be a nice, substantial size blanket. And throw ish sized, you know, bigger than a, you know, cuddle snuggle blanket, you know, uh, but certainly not a, uh, a, a twin size, you know, something, you know, that I can stretch out a little bit underneath, but I'm really pleased with it. Also, for those of you that are curious, since this is like about a, a weight of two-ish, you know, one or two, um, I'm using a, a size four millimeter crochet hook. So I think this is, would be like a size F if I'm not mistaken. And it's worked out rather well for me. So yeah, Russ, love you guy. You know, this is some gorgeousness, and, uh, you know, I just thought it would be nice to work on something very simple, meditative, you know, and enjoy, you know, rather enjoyable, because I love the granny stitch, and considering its current size, I can fit all of it in this little box here. So that's nice. That's convenient. Um, among other things, I have been working on a whole bunch of knitting. Uh, recently, I did a uh, knitted lace stitch tutorial, and I have another one coming up uh, for this weekend, actually. Um, been working up a, a swatch, and I 
did the binding off today. And so oh, I'm getting I'm getting hung up here. There we go. So this is if I if I'm remembering correctly, this is the horseshoe lace stitch. Absolutely gorgeous. It is very, very simple. Uh, it is, I believe, just a six row repeat. So it is quite easy. It's a little bit of a chevron. Uh, nothing too major or pronounced, but yeah, basically it amounts to eyelets and double decreases. Very, very simple. And so I am very much looking forward to showing you how to do this stitch. Now, this was done in Lion Brand's Pound of Love in the colorway of Pumpkin Spice using, I believe it was a size 10 knitting needle. And on top of that, because you know I can't work on just one thing. Oh, heck no. Um, I'm also working on a knitted lace shawl. That is going to be a surprise. Uh, I also, I wrote out the pattern. Yeah, believe it or not. Yes, I did. I actually took that extra step and I wrote out the pattern and I sent it out to a whole bunch of people to test out and see, you know, can it, can it, does it work? You know, um, very excited about the, the possibility and the notion of that because I would really love to show you guys how to do that. I'm thinking within the next few months, um, I would love to bring that forth to you. And yeah, so as you can see, I have been plenty busy. Now, on to some really, really good stuff. I have some happy mail that I've been dying to open up and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's see what's inside. Now, my friend over at Brenda's Knots and Loops, Brenda, she sent me a lovely package. Um, we were playing a game on a, a Zoom chat party and uh, I won. Um, so she sent me some lovely yarn. I think I know what it is. Um, although, you know, you never know, you know, uh, surprises are never far behind. Um, I vaguely remember there was like some blue and green, I think, in the yarn. Um, I was just delighted to win. And Brenda, thank you. You are a sweetheart. I'm just trying to get into this without cutting anything crucial. <laughs> I always get paranoid, but I love opening packages on camera because you guys are always so sweet and generous and I appreciate it ever so much. And you know what I always say? I expect nothing and I appreciate everything. You guys light up my days. Okay, I'm almost there. Almost. I just want to be very careful. Because God forbid I cut the yarn. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there, there's a whole bunch of goodness in here. My goodness. Oh, and there's a card. You know me. I got to open the card first. It's how I roll. Uh, let's see. Little daisies. Oh, hi, Craig. It was so nice to see you. You crack me up. You're such a wonderful person and funny. Hope you like the yarn. Uh, I think that says half extra. Um, well, Brenda, thank you. You know I love everything that you send me, and I appreciate it more than you know. So let's see. Ooh, this is Hirschner's Worsted Stripes yarn. I love that colorway. It is gorgeous. It's very springy, you know. It's sort of like a like a little bit of a rose garden and a bit of the sky and some maybe some daffodils. It's really quite pretty and it is so soft. Oh my. Now Oh, the, the color name is Cherry Tree. So many yarns 
they don't have any colorway uh, name to them, or the ones that they do, it's like very esoteric and abstract. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, let's see, what is this made out of? Oh, it's 100% acrylic. Who knew? Okay, now this, this is some really nice soft, soft stuff. And yep, it passes the cheek test. Um, let's see, it is eight ounces, 489 yards. It's a weight of four. Cool. Well, it's absolutely lovely. Thank you much. And there's more, of course. Ooh, this is Big Twist. I think this is a Joann's brand. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't been in a Joann's in many, many moons. Um, most of the yarn that I get is actually through Walmart because it's rather convenient for me. This is actually rather soft as well. Much softer than like Red Heart Super Saver, but I like using that stuff because it's accessible and it's inexpensive and they got some great colors. But this, this is got some, mm, it's got a very scrumptious texture. This is the color of Sage which it doesn't look much like green. And when I think sage, I think green. Maybe very, very, very pale, pale, anemic green, but the, the texture is to die for. Um, it is, let me see here, 380 yards, and it is 100% acrylic. And I believe this is a weight of four. Yes, yes it is. And is this another one of the same? No, that's different. But it is gorgeous. Love it. You know, muted has its place in my book. I do like a good muted yarn. Now, this is some Hirschner's Worsted. This definitely has a green hue to it. Uh, this is interesting. L-U-F-F-A. Lufa? As in, like, a scrubby dubby Lufa? Or is that L-O-O-F-A? I don't know. Um, but this is lovely. 100% acrylic, weight of four, 489 yards. So I think that these two are essentially the same. This one seems a little bit more uh, robust, perhaps a little bit thicker, even though they are the same weight, quote unquote. Gorgeous though. And on top of that, oh, oh. So I have another one. This is... Uh, Grige or grayish, maybe like a gray beige, grayish. So these two, slightly different hue. These could work out really nicely, maybe in a brioche. Ooh, that could be neat. And there's always an and. Ooh. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So I've got two more, and this is the uh, the Huzywetsky. Is this also the sage? Yes, these are also sage. Ooh, thank you. Because I love bulking up on, you know, the, the particular colorways so that I can make a nice big substantial project. And between the three of these, each one is 380 yards. Yes, this would be plenty for a really nice big project. Ooh, excited. And, 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 last but not least, actually, I think that this this is the one that I actually won that I'm about to show you. I just want to untie it and get it out of the plastic. It's all crinkly, crinkly. Here we go. Ooh. This is so soft and so gorgeous. This is by Sten Lee, and it is called Muffin. Look at that colorway. See, I, I told you I remembered something like a blue-green, um, if you will. That is gorgeous. Now, I'm going to have to figure out what sort of a project to do because, in case you couldn't see, uh, there are three itty-bitty-bitty strands that are not twisted together. They're separate. And if this is anything like um, my experience with other yarns similar to this in a cake form. So you have the three strands, they're not twisted together, and each one changes color at a slightly different rate to create this beautiful ombre. And, oh yeah, 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 it is soft as all get out. 
Um, so it can be a little bit tricky to work with, but the effect is worth it. Now this is 100% acrylic and 2000 meters. My goodness, this is some gorgeousness. Thank you so very much. Between the, the, the this, the that, and the other, wow, I have got my work cut out for me as per usual. Brenda, thank you so very much. I, I don't know where to begin with all this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How about that? <laughs> oh my, oh, oh my. Hello, this is Fiber Spider from the future. <laughs> we we interrupt your regularly scheduled program with some extra goodies, extra fun, you know, happy mail. Um, I filmed most of this video uh, last night, and today I went to my P.O. box, and Brenda, she struck again. She's such a sweetheart. And so I thought, let's incorporate this package with the other package, and let's see what is inside. Now, I have a really good idea. I don't definitive, I do not definitively know, but I have a really good idea what is in here. And I thought, yes, I, I you know what? I could use what is inside of here. And you'll see why in a moment. Brenda, thank you ever so much. You are a sweetheart. And if you haven't checked out her channel, do so. Brenda's Knots and Loops. I'm going to put a link in the little description box down below. Um, and, oh, yep, there is what appears to be a card. Yes, and you know I have to open up the card first. It's how I roll. It's how I was taught as a child. And it's one thing of many that I'm actually appreciative of. <laughs> oh, is this a pop-up? I think this is a pop-up. Or is it, it's an insert? Wait, wait. Okay, it's a flower truck. Ooh, it is 3D. That's cute. That is very cute. And like little Victorian gentleman up top there, or Edwardian. That's really cute. I like, I like very much. And, oh, on the front, it has a little bit of French. It says, Fleur de Lis on the front little banner there. It's cute. Thank you. And then, <clears throat> oh, and that's the image of it unfolded. Uh, hi, spider. Uh, I hope you like the chicken as much as I like making it for you. This chicken is the hottest thing in the knitting world. The emotional support chicken. Ha ha. Uh, I have put, uh, Charlotte in with her to keep her company. Hope you enjoy the chocolate too. Love you, Brenda. Oh, Charlotte, huh? Let's see. Yeah, I've, I've seen the emotional support chicken. I have, and I have done uh, my fair bit of Ami Gurumi in my time. Oh my. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the, the the chicken to the side. Oh my goodness! I I will show you the chicken in just a moment. And ooh <gasps> ooh tri-colored coffee beans from Fredericks. Ooh oh my. These are going to keep me wired. I love it. Thank you. Because I love chocolate. And I love coffee. And you just put them both together. Um, so this is... Let me see. I'm uh, looking to see if it says exactly what it is. Not exactly, but... So I'm thinking that this is probably white chocolate, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate covered coffee beans. I am delighted. Thank you. Now I'm going to be up all night. Yes, I am. And, oh, there's Charlotte. I was wondering what she meant by Charlotte. So this, this is my support chicken. <laughs> Looks, looks like the chicken has been very well 
head. My goodness gracious me. Adorable. Now, I have already thought of some names, believe it or not. And so, yeah, the, the little Charlotte is so cute. That is adorbs. Um, I've already thought of some names for the emotional support chicken. Um, I was thinking maybe Ethel or Mildred. I don't know. You tell me. If you guys can think of a name for my, my new feathered friend, uh, let me know in the comments section. Absolutely adorable. I love it. Thank you. And I love the color, by the way. You know I love anything spring earth, like earth tones or um, uh, autumn colors. And this green is lovely. Actually, I think, I don't know, but I think that this might be... Um, pound of love in the green colorway because it looks just like it. Um, let me see. I have some of it right here, actually. Uh, no, this one appears to be a little bit lighter, but it's pretty darn close. Pretty close, but nice, soft, squishy, you know, hmm, everybody needs one. Um, I haven't made one of these yet. I might at some point. I don't know. Um, but I do always have a penchant for the amigurumis, and I think that it's really sweet. And I love the addition of the eyes and the comb. And well, th this is the comb. Is is this the yolk? I can never remember chicken anatomy phraseology, um, but I, I'm pretty sure that this is the comb. Um, but it's just cute. Thank you so much. Between this and the beans, I am good to go. <clears throat> and. Uh, I'm delighted. Thank you ever so much for thinking of me and, you know, helping, helping my emotional stability, which always needs a boost. <laughs> so thank you ever so much, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So sweet. Um, yeah. So check her channel out. Excuse me. I was eating jalapeno kettle cooked chips just earlier. Um, uh, yeah, in the description box, link down below to Brenda's Knots and Loops. And also, I'm going to put uh, some other links down there as well. So, thank you. Thank you so very much. All right, my dears. So, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Um, you know, just my usual this, that, and the other, and touching base with you guys. And, you know, hope all of you are doing well and enjoying the fact that, you know, spring is soon on its way. Honestly, I thought the winter here was pretty mild. I know that some of you have had a lot of snow and a lot of harsh, stormy weather and so forth. Here, it's been pretty darn mild. And so, it being, you know, late March, um, you know, I was kind of hoping that we might have just a little bit more snow. Call me crazy, I know. Um, but there's, there are a few things that I like more than really bad weather outside when I get to stay home inside and I get to see it and hear it out there. Love that. Um, as long as I don't have to drive in it, I'm good. Um, but I was hoping that we were maybe going to get just a little bit more snow at the moment. It does not seem likely, unfortunately. But mm, such is life. Anyway, listen, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed my, you know, little meandering antics and so forth. And you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, stay safe, take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you in my next video. And bye for now. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.